to centering my piece, basically what I'm doing is um, cupping either side of the ball of clay, which is about a pound, a pound of porcelain, and then I'm taking my right hand and kind of leaning towards the middle of the wheel, pushing in and also using the centrifugal force of the wheel to help me move the clay. So I'm using most of my action with this hand, really pushing in, you can see how the clay collects there. Now I'm opening the ball of clay. And I'm just kind of pushing in and supporting the outside with my left hand. And now I'm going to pull towards my belly button and establish a, a floor of the pot, which means I'm kind of spreading out a pancake across the floor of the pot and still leaving enough to pull up. Now I'm gonna actually raise my walls, which means I'm gonna kind of use my lobster claw shape with my left hand on the inside, my right hand on the outside, working at about four or five o'clock on my wheel. Now I'm just kind of pulling up, which means I'm, I'm, I'm pulling up, I'm, I'm not really squeezing randomly, I'm just kind of holding my hands in one place and making a template for the clay to fit into. So now I'm actually just kind of finishing raising the walls. I want to get them nice and thin and even. Just kind of making a template for the clay to fit into. And I'm not really squeezing it, I'm trying to keep my pressure even. And I go really slow, like one one thousand, two one thousand, just to make sure that, that the clay fits in and that it has time to adjust and move. Here's our piece here. I'm going to color it in just a little bit. Just so I can show you what that does. Okay. Clean up the sides. so we can make nice straight walls. And then I'm just gonna go in here and get the extra water out of the bottom of the piece. Now, I'm just gonna kinda undercut here with my wooden tool just to make a nice clean line, get that extra clay because that's all just like clay that you don't really need and that you just have to trim off there. And then I'm going to cut this in half so we can see what the, the inside looks like, what the anatomy of the, the pot is. Let's see if I can get it. Oh. There we go. Let me just get this other side. It just wants to pop right off. There we go. Please. Now we can see here the inside of our piece. We've got these nice thin walls, which is really good. Nice and even, getting really kind of thin at the top, but that's a neat look. And then here we take this and trim out the inside of our piece so it's up on little feet and take that out of there. The most important thing is to get the weight out of the bottom of your pot. There we have it.